Uh, Joshua, thank you so much for joining me today. Very excited to get a few minutes to talk with you. How are you doing? I'm well, thank you. How are you, Emmanuel? Not, not too bad. Not too bad. You, you, you've got a, quite the year this year of being part of the Blues Clues uh, family, being that it's 20, 25 years. I can't believe it's been 25 years. That, that's that's, that's wild. It's wild to me as well. I can't believe that time has flown by so fast. And now I'm doing the math in my head. And I guess I was seven years old when the show first premiered and I was watching with my little sister, which is crazy. <laughs> How, how, how is that for you now looking back to from your couch to now? I mean, you guys got big things planned for, for Blue coming up. You have specials, Thanksgiving coming up. There's a feature yeah. film in the works and everything. And, and you, are, you are a part of all of that. It's wild. You know, the, the, I think it really, really hit. One of the times it hit was that I remember being at my aunt's house uh, watching Steve draw a clue and that clue was a cup. And um, I re remember that clue so vividly. And my first clue that I draw on set is a cup. And I, <laughs> I remember thinking to myself, what is happening? <laughs> <laughs> and then I get to work with Steve and Donovan and you know, we're family and uh, I, I, I really love them and we're cousins on the show and it's like we're cousins in real life. And so it's something that I, I I, I pinch myself every time I, I, I realize how amazing this all is and it's often. And the fact that we get to reunite again for the Macy's Day Thanksgiving Day, uh, for the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade uh, to perform You Can't Spell Blue Without You, the song uh, that um, came out for the 25th anniversary is just incredible uh, that I get to perform live with them uh, on this special day and to thank everyone at home um, is, is, is just the best. And, and we get to celebrate Hanukkah, which is another amazing thing. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about that because the Hanukkah episode is coming up, which is, I got a chance to see it. And you know, it's, it's very, very, it, well, like, like most of the episodes are very easy to understand and, and yeah. concepts for ev everyone to, to, to grasp. But why is it so important now for inclusion of you know, other cultures holidays? Yeah, you know, we, we, we only know what we're exposed to. And I think that uh, this uh, Blues Clues Festival of Lights is an incredible way to introduce a holiday that a family at home might not celebrate. Um, and just because you don't celebrate it doesn't mean that it's not this beautiful uh, holiday or tradition or festival or whatever it is that we're talking about. And I think this is a wonderful way to introduce families to that. We get to um, spin the dreidel. We mm -hmm. get to fry up some latkes, which got me so, so hungry uh, <laughs> whenever we were filming that segment. And um, we also get to sing an original new song um, written by P.T. Walkley, uh, our, our composer, celebrating Hanukkah. And we get to sing it with a couple new characters. And it's just this amazing um, celebration of love and family. And I hope that this episode will, will be a springboard for families at home to continue learning about Hanukkah and other religions and and. Um, and uh, holidays that uh, people all over the world celebrate. And then that, even though we're different, we're all connected. Yeah, it's our, it's our differences that make us really, that really connect us all together. It's exciting because you, you and Blue and the rest of the team have gained everybody's trust throughout the years. So to be able to venture into things like this, it just makes it so much easier because you think about it, kids maybe aren't, won't know the right way to ask questions to their friends at school about their celebrations and what a better way yeah. there than for you guys to do it on, on uh, Nickelodeon. Yeah, absolutely. You know, it's all about starting the conversation and what I love about our show and what I love about the, the business of making a TV show is that you can make mistakes, you know, as long as you're coming with, with kindness and humility and, and you're caring, um, you can ask somebody, uh, you can just straight up ask somebody for help. And I think that's such a beautiful thing. And if you don't know something, that's okay. Uh, you can ask somebody for help and, and uh, you're always going to be learning no matter how old you get or how old you are, you're, you will always be learning. And that's something that is so beautiful. Speaking about learning, tell me what is maybe a life lesson, something that, that really stands out to you that you've learned in the process of being the host for the show? Ooh, 
Um, patience, patience, patience for yourself, patience for um, the, the people in your lives, whether they be strangers that are passing by on the street or um, people, or your friends or family, patience. Uh, you know, it, it takes a lot uh, to make a television show. And um, as the takes start going, like take one, take two, take three, take 28, uh, the more takes you do, the more patient you have to be with yourself, <laughs> that it's okay that you've made mistakes. And, you know, that's all part of the journey. But to take a deep breath and in, in order to, to have patience, sometimes you just need to stop, take a deep breath and take it a step at a time. Just the way that we say, uh, just the way that we deal with it on the show. And I think that is one of the most helpful lessons uh, for me in my daily life is just to, you know, take a step back, take a deep breath, and then just take it one step at a time. Um, it has helped me uh, innumerously. That's a great Honestly. answer. I appreciate it. I, uh, for a second, I, I kind of blanked out and said, wait, am I watching an episode? What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's something we could all take and that it, obviously we can all have a little bit more patience, I think. So thanks for sharing yeah. that. I appreciate it. Thank you. Why do you think Blue has had such staying power for now, I mean, multi-generations of kids because it's, it's been 25 years now? Yeah. You know, our show came back uh, when a lot of other shows came back. You know, the, 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 there's a huge nostalgia factor with Blue's Clues. I watched it when I was a kid and a lot of my friends who now have kids watched it when they were kids. So it, it you know, it makes sense that a show that popular should come back now. Uh, but what is amazing about Blue's Clues in particular is that the show started uh, from research. Our, our show creators, uh, Angel Santamara and uh, Tracy Page Johnson, they wanted to create a show that would help kids. Um, and then they figured out the entertainment and, and, and the way that our show looked and how it would appeal and, and that bit of sugar um, to help the medicine go down. But like, so that kids would be prepared for preschool and the rest of their lives. And since the show premiered 25 years ago, there has been 25 years of new research on how kids learn and uh, better ways to help kids learn and enjoy the things that they're learning and, and to spike their curiosity. And so it's a, it's, our show came back because there's 25 years of new research. The nostalgia factor only helps everything that we're trying to achieve because you know, when you can experience something and share something with family, it just makes it that much more memorable. And so I'm so happy that our show came back in the way that it did and that people are still responding to it in such a positive way. Josh, you got amazing answers. Let me just tell you that right now. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to thank you for your time. I also want to congratulate you. I know you guys are on season three and you guys are already been greenlit for season four for Blues, Clues and You. Uh, so congratulations on that. Thank you. And uh, I want to wish you luck at the Macy's Day Parade. We'll all be watching. Thank you so much, Emmanuel. Happy holidays. Happy Thanksgiving. Thank you. It was nice to virtually meet you. <laughs> nice Take to care. virtually meet you too.